Sorry, Snoopy. You can't go with us. Dogs aren't allowed on the school bus. What's up, Team Asian? Today we are going to well, we call it swap meet, but flea market is more like well known. And we're going there for on, we're on a mission. So the reason I wanted to go and the reason my dad wanted to go too is we want to find some records. Because me and him both got record players for Christmas and we want to get more records for our collection. I want to look for 80s rock like ACDC, Queen, Guns N' Roses. I don't know about my dad. He's probably going to get like 90s rap music or something. But I'm all ready to go. I wear this stuff too much. It's 9, 10 right now, and while I'm there, besides looking for records, I'm gonna try to find cool stuff. I like going to these places because it's really cool to find really like old stuff that's cool, and then it's usually cheap. My brother's in <laughs> Punch him. <laughs> How would you rate your chronic taco experience? I got a quesadilla. So we're back now, it's a little bit later. It's obviously nighttime now. I'm gonna show you guys the things that I got while I was a Swami, but I'm gonna save the best one and my favorite one for last. So the first thing I got, I got a little Cobra Kai patch, and I also got this Guns N' Roses patch. And I think I'm gonna use these and get like some plain black t-shirts and then put these on like right here. So two different shirts like that. But the cool one is this giant Cobra Kai patch. I'm either gonna get a plain black hoodie and put it on like this, like on the chest, or it'd be really cool if I got a red leather jacket and put it on here so it's like the movie. So I got these three patches. These were six each and this was 15 or something like that, but I got it for 20. So that's a pretty good deal, I think. I got two Cobra Kai and one, oh, and one Guns N' Roses. I really love Cobra Kai. I love the Karate Kid series and I love the TV show. If you guys haven't watched it, it's on Netflix. It's awesome. And the best thing that I got, it was, I'll tell you like the story first. So um, the guy that sold it to me, it was just sitting there and he said it was $25, which I thought was crazy for what it was. So I was thinking, so it probably doesn't work as much as I was hoping it did work. I didn't think it worked for selling it for that cheap. And so I bought it for 25. He wouldn't go down to 20. So I just got I just paid 25 we had an extra charger so we came home and I plugged it in it's an iPhone 3GS from 2009 so he sold it for $25 so at that price I was thinking there's no way that it works so when we came home I plugged it in and I saw that beautiful white Apple logo and I was so excited because I just got an iPhone 3GS for $25. I'm a, I love old stuff, if you didn't tell. I love Apple, so I, I've never used one of these before or anything like that, so this was awesome just to have. And then when I plugged it in, it actually worked, it was awesome. But when I, when I first, when it first like booted up or whatever, I thought that when I turned it on, it would be like 
someone else's phone or I would I would turn it on and it was like someone else's phone like someone else used it but when it booted up it was like already in its reset mode or whatever so it um I just had to set it up and stuff we don't go to the swap meets that often but um this is like by far the coolest thing I've ever gotten in the swap meet especially because it works no apps are really compatible with this phone anymore because it's so old the only thing it's really compatible with is angry birds that's so like I could probably get like doodle jump or something but Angry Birds was like the only thing that I could get on the App Store because everything else is said not compatible with this iPhone. I open it and it'll just like crash. So I might have to try to find a way to get some type of app on here so it's cooler. And I wasn't able to find the records that I wanted to get. They had the records that I wanted to get. They had like the ACDC, Queen, and Guns N' Roses. They had them there. But I like getting the old records that are actually from the year that they were made, like 1980s or whenever. But these ones were new so they were like remade. So they're more recent and those ones obviously cost a lot more because they're new so I just didn't get any. But my dad got some record for his record player. Six o'clock, nothing else is really going to happen time and i just been editing this video. I got some really cool videos in the works right now. So thank you guys for watching. So make sure to leave a like on this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.